Hey everyone, welcome back to the greenhouse. Uh, I hope everybody had a beautiful Christmas, spent time with family, um, and overall just enjoyed the day. Um, I know I did, my family came over and it was really nice. So, um, so yeah, for Christmas I got a gift card to Lowe's and I went, um, I, I bought a little tiny Christmas tree um, that I'm gonna transplant and hopefully save for next year. Um, and so I took that $25 gift card two lows because I wanted to get a new pot which is this green one here um, and some potting soil and then I saw these plants they were all on clearance so I grabbed those there's two in here two in here and then this cool one here um, so I grabbed that um, and then this was part of a Christmas gift that we got so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a couple holes in the bottom or I'm gonna transplant these into two separate pots and then just drop the pots in here um, and put them inside with my other indoor plants. So um, that is basically what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go in the house, take down the Christmas tree, and then I'm going to repot a lot of these things. Um, but first I'm gonna yell at my dogs because they're digging holes right in front of my greenhouse. Hey, are you digging? Yes, you are. No digging. Uh-uh. Out. Out. No. No. Go lay down. You see how the tree is leaning like this? So I'm hoping to rectify that by transplanting it into the bigger pot. Um, hopefully I'll be able to stand it kind of up like this, um, but we'll see. And then my goal is to be able to use this tree for next year um, because Christmas trees just seem to be getting more and more expensive and I can't justify spending that much money on a Christmas tree, especially one that I'm just gonna throw away. So I'm going to take it out of this pot. I'm going to put it in this pot and hopefully I'll be able to keep it trimmed like a Christmas tree and use it for next year. Don't you just love the smell of fresh soil? I do. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put some soil in here, probably about this much so that the plant sits up taller. And then I will just fill in with soil around it. I don't know, I'd say that's probably not too bad. So now I just gotta find a spot for it in the greenhouse to live for a while. I'm thinking probably down here somewhere. So I used to have a pathos in each of these, but I put them outside one day and it was like really hot and I left them outside because I left. And when I came home, I knew that they were basically done for. Um, so yeah, um, this one might still be hanging on. So what I might do with this one is just clean off the root ball and then stick it in a jar of water um, to see if it can grow again. And then utilize the pots that I have in here um, to plant each one of these in each one of these and then see what they look like in here or just put that as a single plant in here 
So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But at first, I'm going to start off with taking these two here and putting them individually in the smaller pockets. But first, I'm going to take this out. A little tiny. There's a little bit still there. So I don't know. I don't know if there's hope for this thing or not, but I'm going to try. I'm all about experimentation on this channel, so this may work, it may not work, I don't know, but it's already not working anyways for it, so what can I hurt? <laughs> what can it hurt? Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, I know I think what I'm going to do, I know, I think. I think what I'm going to do with these guys is keep them out here in the greenhouse until they can kind of establish themselves a little bit more. Um, and then I will bring them into the house with the rest of the plants. Bearing I keep them alive. <laughs> so these I'm going to set down somewhere for now. This one I think I'm just going to leave alone for now, but I'll keep this one out here also. Like all these plants that I got, I got them on clearance, probably because they're dying. This is a cool one though. I like how it's got stripes on it. It is a Calathea? Calathea? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on that, but pretty cool leaves. And then it's like red underneath. Oh, yeah. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along with me while I get my hands dirty. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment. Um, gardening tips, gardening suggestions, anything like that. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.